As we finish harvesting this fall, we start to start thinking about fertilizer decisions for next year. Now, with the high fertilizer prices, it's particularly important to have up-to-date and accurate information on the nutrient levels in our soils moving forward. Uh, this makes um, soil sampling and soil testing particularly important this year to ensure we have that accurate information and make decisions that will allow us to maximize return to investment to any fertilizer that we are applying in the coming crops next year. One additional consideration this year with the drought that we have in parts of Kansas in the Great Plains is that soil samples uh, may be affected in different ways. And there are a few characteristics, few points that we need to keep in mind there. One of those is how is maybe the dry conditions affecting soil analysis and soil test results. And the other is uh, how the residual nutrients may be still available there and what that means for availability for the following crops, especially in those situations where we have below average yields or in some cases complete crop failure. And so we need to keep that in mind as we are uh, collecting samples this year, as we are looking at those reports, and especially again as we are thinking about making decisions next year. For the immobile nutrients in particular, including pH, there are some things that can be affected by dry conditions that we have this past year. Specifically, pH is one of those variables that may be slightly lower due to some sal accumulation and hydrogen accumulation near the surface. So that is something that we need to keep in mind. For mobile nutrients, we usually recommend a profile sample. That's typically will tend to be ideally 24 inches. That will basically capture the mobile nutrients that will be uh, distributed in that soil profile. Especially in the case of nitrogen, this year is particularly relevant because we may have significant amounts of nitrate left after dry conditions, uh, fail crops or below, yield, below optimum yields, um, expected yields in some, in some conditions. That means we may have significant amount of nitrogen left that will be available for the next crop. In the case of uh, Kansas State University, we usually recommend a six inch sampling depth for immobile nutrients. And again, if we are collecting more deeper sample uh, or more shallow samples, we can either overestimate or underestimate the level of nutrients uh, in that particular soil. Again, this is particularly relevant in notial systems where we will tend to have uh, significant stratification of nutrients like phosphorus, uh, as well as um, pH, uh, uh, and, false, and, and potassium and other nutrients as well. Soil testing is still the best tool that we have available to have accurate information in terms of nutrient levels available and help us really maximize the return to investment to the high-priced fertilizer that we have this year.